Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to answer that age-old question that I get asked all the time. Is Access going away? I have literally been asked this by dozens, if not hundreds of customers over my 20-some year career with Access. I get asked a few times a month, probably once a week. Someone says, I've heard rumors that Microsoft is discontinuing Access. Is this true? The short answer? Are you ready for it? No, absolutely not. Microsoft Access is definitely alive and well and here to stay for the foreseeable future. Microsoft has already announced that they're continuing support for Access 2019, which is the most current version, through 2025. They've also announced a new version of Access to be released with Office 2022. So that doesn't sound like it's going away anytime soon. Microsoft has a What's New page, so you can see what's new in the latest version of Access and in the most recent Microsoft 365 releases. I'll put links you can click on in the description down below the video. There's also a future roadmap page where you can go and see all the things they're working on that haven't been released yet. So you can see that the Microsoft Access team is busy and they're constantly making new changes and updates. They're adding a new web browser control, a new SQL editor, so it works the same as when you're in the VBA editor, and lots more features. Just this past weekend, I attended the Access Cascade Conference 2020 by J Street Technology. J Street has been putting together these great Access Day conferences since I can remember. I was a co-sponsor for one back in 2014. I had a lot of fun. This year, the conference was held virtually due to COVID, but it was still a great time and I learned a lot. I've got one video clip you should watch. It's from Armin Stein of J Street Technology talking to Ebo Kwanza, the Microsoft Access Program Manager, the guy at Microsoft in charge of Access. He said there's no plan at all for Access to leave. Access is definitely here to stay. And, quote, I want to make it clear that's not the truth. And he's talking about Access being retired. He's very adamant that Access isn't going anywhere. There's a link right there to the video. I'll put it down below so you can just click on it. Here's another clip with Ebo from an Access user group's interview in 2019 where he said Access is not dead and that's something the world needs to know. Access is used by 95% of Microsoft's Fortune 500 clients. Andy was asked if Access would be around in 10 years. He said nothing is going to be replacing Access on the desktop. There may be new apps for web or phone, but Access will be around for at least the next 10 years. So why all this confusion? Why are there so many people saying that Access is being discontinued? Well, back in 2017, Microsoft shut down Access Web Apps. Access Web Apps were introduced back in 2013 that allowed you to create browser-based front ends for a web-hosted database using Microsoft Access. You could put your tables up on the web in SQL Server or SharePoint and connect to them and Access would create a web-based interface for that. Well, they didn't really work very well and they never caught on. So in 2017, Microsoft announced they were discontinuing them. Well, this of course led to a slew of companies and consultants pushing people away from Access and into other products. This also caused a lot of false and misleading claims that still confuse people today that Microsoft is discontinuing the desktop version of Access, which is not true. I have personally been to dozens of Microsoft and Access specific events over the past decade, and the Microsoft people continue to assure everyone that Access is alive and well. If anyone has any direct evidence of Microsoft saying they're discontinuing the desktop version of Access, I invite you to send me a link and I'll post a video. I did some research while making this video and I've seen a lot of back and forth in web forums. On the plus side, saying that Access is here to stay, are the Microsoft team members, the actual employees, MVPs and former MVPs like myself who have been using Access for 25 plus years. All of the people who say it's dying either don't use it or they're consultants or companies pushing different solutions. I've actually found a lot of false and misleading claims on a lot of websites saying that Access is being discontinued. I'm surprised Microsoft doesn't take legal action against some of them. Here's one that says Microsoft is planning to remove Access from Office 365, which is not true. 
and therefore access users will need to look for alternative systems to run their desktop databases. Again, absolutely not true. They use headlines like Microsoft Access retires gracefully. But of course, they're pushing other solutions. Why? Well, they say right there, they might get a commission if you purchase one of their other recommended solutions. Here's another company saying, is Microsoft Access dying with a picture of a Grim Reaper? And the subtitle is, the future of Microsoft Access is bleak. They say the movement away from Access is unstoppable given its limitations. Microsoft obviously realizes this and is itself pushing Access users to power apps. Yes, they are investing in power apps, but they're not stopping investing in Microsoft Access as well for desktop development. And of course, this is a company that is recommending a different solution. Is Microsoft trying to push people out of Access and into something different? Absolutely not, they said in the Access Cascade Conference. They want us to continue using Access even more than we do today. And in the conference, they went through a lot of new cool technologies that are coming out to help you share your Access data online. I'll be releasing more videos on this as that technology becomes available. In the meantime, of course, there are technologies you can use to share your database online, such as SharePoint or SQL Server. I personally have a virtual desktop set up for myself so I can use Access on my Android phone. That works pretty good. And yes, lots of new technologies are coming, like Power Apps and Common Data Services. But the bottom line, and what I want you to take away from this video, is that Access is still the best database solution for the desktop. I've been working with Access for 25 plus years, and nothing beats it. It's still the best for small and mid-sized database solutions. And even for enterprise-level database needs, Access is still a great front-end to be used with a server like SQL Server. When you take into consideration rapid development time, cost of development and learning, maintenance, overhead, Access is by far the best solution. So there we go. I hope this video has alleviated some of your fears as to whether or not Access is being discontinued anytime soon. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. If you're new to Access and wondering whether or not it's for you, I've got a free three-hour-long Access Level 1 class. It's absolutely free. It's on my website and on my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something today. On behalf of myself, Richard Rost, and Access Learning Zone, thanks for watching.